Abortion is best defined as the intentional killing of a human fetus. And that's just not my perspective. That's what a lot of abortion choice advocates will say, or at least the more honest ones. For example, feminist Naomi Wolf calls abortion a real death. Now it's true, some feminists like Kath Pollitt say it's no different than vacuuming out your house. But those that are honest will admit that abortion definitely kills something that's alive. And not only does abortion kill that something, it intentionally kills that something. So when we talk about what is abortion, we're not talking about killing in general, we're talking about the intentional killing of an innocent human being. I need to, with all the boldness that the Holy Spirit will grant to me, tell everyone in this room that abortion is a murder. It is the murder of a human being. I'm gonna have to say it, I'm gonna show it to you in the Word, I wanna prove it to you with science, I wanna just lay it before you and say abortion is murder. And, it, and it's a holocaust like the world has yet to see. In fact, just to put it in perspective, Stalin was guilty of murdering 40 million of his own countrymen, Hitler, 30 million human beings, and the United States, since Roe versus Wade, not globally, but the United States, has blown past both of those brothers and have made them look angelic as we have slaughtered wholesale 55 million little boys and little girls. Millions of little boys and little girls. That is why this show has a threefold purpose. One, save lives. Two, save souls through the preaching of the healing power of the gospel. And three, equip believers to make a persuasive case for life. This is a matter of life and death. This is not a preference issue. What do we mean when we say something is wrong? For example, if I said to you, chocolate ice cream is better than vanilla, you would right away recognize that's a statement about me. It's subjective to me. You might like vanilla, or you might like strawberry. You would think it real odd if I said to you, chocolate is morally superior to vanilla. You would rightly think that guy's nuts. But what if I said the following? It's wrong to torture toddlers for fun. Now I'm no longer talking about what I like or prefer. I'm talking about what's right or wrong, regardless of my likes or dislikes. People think that when you claim abortion is wrong, you're saying you dislike it. But pro-lifers are not saying abortion is wrong because they dislike it. They're saying it's wrong because it intentionally kills an innocent human being. It's about what's right and wrong in spite of our tastes, not what's right and wrong according to our tastes. And that's the key point that people get so wrong. Imagine if I said to you, don't like slavery, don't own a slave. Or, don't like spousal abuse, don't beat your wife. In both cases, you would understand that I did not really grasp what was at stake with slavery and wife beating. That I was treating slavery and wife beating as mere preferences like ice cream. So when pro-lifers say abortion is wrong, they're not talking about their preferences, they're talking about what's right and wrong in spite of likes and dislikes.